Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the truly terrific tumbling rings of antiquity. So you can see I have a bunch of rings looped together here. So you can see this top ring is looped together very securely on these top two rings. But watch what happens when I let it go. It actually falls to the very bottom. Now I have a new one up here and it's looped together. You can see it's secure in there. But now watch what happens when I drop this one. It drops. Now I can actually do this pretty fast. I can just keep doing it over and over again. And the rings just keep falling to the bottom. So the question is, how is this working? If these rings are looped together securely, how is it falling from the top to the bottom? First, to make sure it's not camera trickery, you can see how my wife reacts to it with her first time seeing it in person. I'll let her even handle it and hold it herself. Welcome to the truly terrific rings of antiquity. Okay. You made them right uh, now? Yeah, I did. How to get to the bottom. <laughs> I think it just goes over the side. It like slides around the side. See if it, see if you can get it to slide around the side. Here. Oh, I got it. Can it slide around the side? <laughs> no, it goes in between them or something. <laughs> Is that what I do? No, it has to go. Oh, I know. So is this ring going to the bottom? No. Where's it going? I don't know. So how's it getting through though? You're doing it. How's it getting through? Surprisingly, even when you're the one doing it, it's hard to see how it's actually working. So let's take a closer look and see if we can figure out how this is working. So if these rings are actually connected together like this, you can see this is clearly securely connected together. So how is it getting to the bottom? Well, let's watch it. It really looks like it's dropping. Well, let's take a look in slow motion and see if we can get a better idea what's going on here. So in slow motion, it's still a little hard to see what's going on here, but you can see it doesn't really look like the ring is falling from top to bottom, but it looks more like kind of a domino effect. So to track what's going on here, I'm gonna put some tape on the first ring here. Okay, now let's drop this and see where it goes. It looks like it stayed right there and a different ring went to the bottom. So the ring didn't actually go anywhere. It stayed right where it should have connected to this ring here. So let's see what it looks like when I do this continuously now. So you can see the ring with the tape isn't going anywhere. It's just going back and forth from upper to lower hooked to the same ring. So believe it or not, this is actually one of the oldest known kinetic illusions. And it could be argued that because of these rings specifically, we have movies today. So the way these work is by giving the illusion that there's movement happening when actually there isn't. There's a similar toy to this called Jacob's Ladder that has pieces of wood tied together in specific ways so that when you drop the top one, it looks like it's falling all the way to the bottom. So using illusions like this, humans have known for a long time that if you make objects move quickly in succession, it will look like they're moving continuously. Now, one of the ways we could describe why this looks like it's moving is through something called persistence of vision. Now, persistence of vision works because the human brain can only comprehend around 10 to 12 images per second, and you retain that image for about a 15th a second. Now, over time, we got better and better at these kinetic illusions until today you can be watching a kinetic illusion and it's like I'm standing there in the room with you. So everything you're seeing happening on this screen right now isn't actually moving. You're just seeing still pictures in rapid succession. This thing is pretty cool and it's easy to make if you know how to do it. There's a good old video I found online showing how to do it and I'll put that link in my description, but I'll also teach you how to do it right here with a little bit updated version. The first thing you need to do this is 30 key rings. I just got these on Amazon. These are two inch key rings. They seem to work the best. You can also do them with smaller ones as well. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is just take two of the key rings and you're gonna open up one of them and slide the other one in it. So it'll sit flat like this. So this is kind of the flat edge of it and it's pried open a little bit so it's pinching it in the center there. So just set it there. And you can do this 14 more times. Now I have 14 of these sets of two rings here. Now we're gonna take one of these sets and then another single ring. And we're gonna slide the single ring in there along with this one. So put it in there and just push them both through. 
So now you have two rings hooked to this one. And you can drop it so you can see you have three rings looped together. But what you wanna do is you wanna grab the two rings like this. Okay, now you have these two rings and we're gonna take another set and you're gonna slide these two rings onto this set here. So you're gonna take these, slide the two rings on. Now you have it like this, so you have so you have one, two, one, one. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the top ring like this between your thumb and pointer finger, and then you're gonna grab with your left hand one of these rings on the side. And you're gonna let the top ring drop now. So now you have one, two, two. Then you're gonna take these two at the bottom, and you're gonna grab another ring set, and you're gonna put those two through that ring set along with the one that's already on there. Put it through. You can turn it around so now you have one, two, two, one, one. Now what you wanna do is do the same thing you did before, but the one you wanna grab now, you can see that you have two rings here and two rings here. One of these rings is through both of these loops. This ring on the right here is through both of these loops and this ring on the left is through only one of them. So you wanna grab that one and drop it now. Now you have two on the bottom again. And once you have two on the bottom, you put it through another loop. So put both of those two through the other loop. Then flip it over, and now you have that same situation again. You wanna grab the ring on the left that is through only one of them, and then drop this other one. And it'll drop to the bottom, now you have two on the bottom, and you just keep repeating this process. So by the end of this, you should have it looking like this. So the bottom two rings have two and the top one has one on it. So you take the two rings and then you put your final single 30th ring on. And that should end it. And then when you're done, you should have this final set. So to start it, remember you always grab the ring that's only through one of the two rings below it. So that's this one right here. And then drop it and you'll see it fall to the bottom. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, or hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out actionlab.com where I sell two science boxes, one a self-pouring fluid box and the other one a vacuum chamber box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.